Hi everyone, let's get straight to it. Here I have a base plan and I want to make some modifications to the layout, but this is my drawing standards file. It used to be called drawing one, I just renamed it to drawing standards. What I'm going to do is save as, and I'll call this file as build, and I'll remove this table because I don't need it in this drawing, and I'll save again, and once more I will save as and call this my base so now I'm going to modify the drawing to what I would like my end result to be. So I've removed some walls. Here there was a dressing room and a master bathroom, but this became one big space. And here this was a kitchen and this was the reception and this also became one big space. So now I'm going to adjust my room tags. Save. To represent those changes in a drawing that's going to go to a site and to indicate which walls are going to be demolished, I'm going to save as, and I'll call this drawing demolition plan. I'll delete all of this and I'll type in xref and I'll come to this icon here to attach a drawing. And first I'll choose my as built plan and I'll insert it as an xref with insertion point 000 so it lands in exactly the same spot as it was in the original drawing. I'll add another xref which is going to be my base plan. Same thing. So now I have my two drawings overlaid one on top of the other. I'll go to layer properties and if you expand the name of the layer, you'll see that the xref is written in front of each layer. So these layers come from the as-built xref and these layers come from the base plan xref. So I'm going to choose all of those, the ones coming from the base plan, and change the color to red. And this is what my plan looks like now. What I want to do is hatch everything that's not red. So those are the walls that are from the old plan that I want to get rid of. First, I'll create a new layer for my demolished walls. I can pick blue, continuous and line weight 0 0.15. And the rest is so simple. I go to my new layer and I just draw rectangles over the walls I'd like to demolish. Then I want to add a hatch, so I'll just isolate those to make things easier. I'll hit the H key on my keyboard. I'll do that again, H. I'll pick my solid hatch, and I'll just add the solid hatch to the walls I want to demolish. Select my hatch and change that transparency to 50. If I unisolate my layers, this is what my drawing looks like now. I'll go to my XREFs. And then I'll remove the base plan because I don't need it anymore. And this is what my demolition plan looks like. It's basically the as-built plan with the walls I want to demolish highlighted. There's only one thing that's missing. For example, those two walls here, it's very obvious I want to tear down the entire wall. And this one as well. So it's pretty clear. But for this one here, I want to tear down a part of it and I want to keep a part of it. So what I want to do is add a dimension to indicate to the side how much they should leave and not demolish. But I'll show you this in my next video. For now, I'm going to go back to my drawing standards so I can document my new demolition layer. I'll just copy a line from here and I'll paste it here and my layer magically appears. I'll copy that, add my layer, demolished quotes. And I'll change that. Stay tuned. Next video, I'm going to talk about dimensions.